If I had to name a buzzword for brand new wig styles that are coming out in 2022, I would have to say it's wispy bangs. It seems like they're coming on the scene in a very big way. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new style called Tea Rose. And I'll confirm your suspicions right away. This looks exactly like the Dalgona 16 only with a pre-cut bang. You won't want to miss the details coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Beltrass in cooperation with Wig Studio One. This and all of the other Beltrass styles are available at Wig Studio One, and you will enjoy a, an automatic 30% discount on all Beltrass styles. All you have to do is add it to your cart to see the discount. If you drop below this video and expand the description box, I will attach a direct product link to this style as well as the other Beltrass styles. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and don't forget to visit us on Instagram and a private Facebook group by Wig Studio One called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Beltrass T Rose is a mid to long length beach wave style, some beautiful exquisite layering, and it features a pre-cut wispy bang. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna do a comparison with a Dalgona 16, so you don't wanna miss that. So this is in the color Butterbeer Blonde. I think I've described Butterbeer Blonde probably at least 100 times, um, but this Butterbeer Blonde in a nutshell is more of a, a, sand, a dark sandy blonde and then it's very heavily highlighted with an ash platinum. All of that is on a medium brown root. And depending on how much platinum is in the mix on this color depends, will tell you how light and bright it's going to be. I think this one is pretty typical of most of the Butterbeer Blonde applications. And overall, it's neutral, leaning, cool from my eye. So let's get right into it. What's new is the bangs. So many bangs this year. So these bangs measure about four inches. Now four inches, my, my forehead is about three, three to three and a half. So a four inch bang on me tends to go right in the eyes. I am gonna have to trim this bang a little bit, but that's just because I probably fall outside of the normal and that would be no problem at all. I could simply take some blending shears and go right across until I meet the desired length. What I could also do is come in with a curling iron because this is a heat friendly style. I could come in with a curling iron and just give a little bit of under curl to those bangs and that will help shrink them up a little bit on my forehead. So if you see me swiping these out of my eyes, I haven't done anything to it. And then the rest of the style is going to seem very familiar to you. Um, we're looking at about a 16 inch overall length. There are some layers on the sides that carry through the back to give it that beautiful layered look throughout the whole style. It has a nice tapered look to the ends of this style. It's kind of a medium to light density overall. Um, this one doesn't have much permatease at all that I can sense. It's just gorgeous. It's going to remind you very much of that Dalgona 16. However, the T-Rose features that new center part that Beltress is uh, coming out with, and that is a temple to temple extended lace front and then a center monofilament pattern. And no worries at all, I'm going to show you the inside of this cap here uh, during this video so that you can get a good look of those monofilament features. I have to say that I truly, truly love and enjoy the extended lace front. Um, actually, let's go ahead and take a look. So with the bang style, um, it, you know what? You really don't need a lace front, but it is very nice to have. If you want to style those bangs up and away from your face, you could. Um, if you want to whisk them off to one direction or another, you're just going to be able to see the illusion of scalp and hair and natural looking hairline all the way across. And like I said, it does extend back into that ear tab, so you're not getting any unsightly seams or anything there. I think it's very well done. Uh, the highlight is brought right up to that lace front on this particular color. Now you're noticing that my widow's peak is peeking out there a little bit, and that is because I've actually shifted this back a little more than usual to get that nice look right there on the forehead. 
So let's go ahead and do a comparison with the Dalgona 16. I have down here one in uh, the bombshell on the mannequin A, and then I have it in the Tres Leches blonde in, on the letter Q. So I think I'm going to use the Tres Leches because this is the hand-tied version, and it may lay a little bit differently. So we're going to use the, uh, the left monofilament part lace front regular version that has wefting on the sides and back to do our comparison. So let me go ahead and just grab this mannequin head and we can examine. So let's look at this from the side because the layering is just nearly identical. The only difference you're going to see is that on this piece, that first layer is going to come down to about 9 or 10 inches. Um, it looks like, and then it's going to filter down for another layer here, and then ultimately it's 16 inches. So this one's going to look a little longer on the profile uh, compared to that 4-inch bang look, okay? But all the other layering is, like I said, identical. The length is identical. The curl pattern is identical. So if you took the Dalgona and you added in a bang, this is what you will get, which is the T-Rose. And bangs are nice. Uh, bangs are really easy to customize too. As I explained, just with some blending shears, you can make some minor tweaks. The problem is that when you start out with a longer fringe, like we see here on the Dalgona, and you start to put in a bang, a lot of wig wearers out there aren't comfortable with doing that. So this is already pre-cut and ready to go for you. The other thing is, this would make a great sister style, just one with bangs and one without. And because they're from the same brand family, you can get your very favorite color on each one. So I really love, love the fact that they came out with the T-Rose because as I said, it's a pre-cut bang, easy, ready to go right out of the box and you can choose the same color on each if you decided to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side of each. It is So let's take a look at the inside of the cap for Beltresse's T-Rose. My favorite part is the extended lace front. See how it wraps back into the ear tab? That just makes for a spectacular looking hairline and lots of flexibility for styling. A seamless center monofilament part. And then you have a felted ear tab. A better look at that lace front to see how deeply it runs into that ear tab. And then you actually have an extended felted nape with the traditional strap style adjusters. So let's try with glasses. I've never met a bell truss style that didn't work beautifully with glasses. So I've got my readers here. Beautiful between the ear and the ear tab, just perfect. So we've got bangs and glasses. All feels wonderful. So I'm just going to manipulate this hair a little bit for you so you can get a sense of everything. Um, and I'm going to focus a little bit on the bangs just because I think that is the main, the main draw for this style. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to check this out at Wig Studio One. All of the links are below this video. Enjoy your day. We'll see you soon right here at Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.